Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm going to be talking about using biomechanics, wearables, and machine learning to prevent injuries. Have you, a family member or a friend, ever experienced an overuse injury? This could be a stress fracture from running, tendonitis from playing sports, or low back pain from repeated lifting or manual labor. I once experienced a knee overuse injury that kept me from practicing dance for months, and my dad once experienced a hip injury that kept him from being able to go into work. Something I'm really excited about is that we can use biomechanics, wearables, and machine learning to better understand these overuse injuries and find creative ways to prevent them from happening. In our lab, we often first use biomechanics to build our scientific understanding of overuse injuries, better understanding how bones, muscles, and tendons experience wear and tear over time that eventually leads to injury. We're particularly interested in sports overuse injuries because these injuries are frustrating and keep us from playing for weeks or months, and workplace injuries because these painful overuse injuries can keep individuals from being productive at their job. And once we've done this, we can create cool wearable and assistive technologies that help reduce the risk of overuse injuries and maybe prevent them from happening. So first, let's learn how we build our scientific understanding of overuse injuries. In our human motion analysis lab, we're able to study human movement in great detail. We can have athletes run on a force instrument to treadmill that has sensors to measure metrics as you run. For example, it can measure the ground reaction force or the three-dimensional force between your foot and the ground. This helps us understand how much loading different bones, joints, muscles, or tendons inside your body are experiencing, which can lead to wear and tear and injury over time. We can also have individuals move and perform different tasks like manual lifting while we study the detailed motion of their body. We do this by using motion capture, the same te technology that's used to make animated characters in movies or video games like Lord of the Rings and Avatar. By studying the motion of the legs, torsos, and arms, we can also understand the velocities and accelerations of these different parts of your body. Altogether, this allows us to investigate if certain running techniques, sports activities, or lifting postures may put you at higher risk of injury. And we can also measure muscle activity using sensor technology called electromyography. This technology allows us to study the electrical activity produced by skeletal muscles as they work. Here you can see the right calf muscle activating when the right foot is pushing against the ground and the left calf muscle activate when the left foot is pushing against the ground. This gives us an idea when muscles are being used for certain tasks and when they're generating more or less force. Monitoring this muscle activity is helpful because large muscle forces repeated over time can cause wear and tear on the muscles and also the bones, joints, and tendons that are connected to. So once we have a better idea how certain sports or workplace activities cause wear and tear on our body, we can create wearable and assistive technologies that aim to reduce the risk of these injuries. Some examples are designing wearables to monitor movement and keep us healthy. These wearables can monitor different biomechanical signals and then leverage machine learning to warn us when we might be nearing an overuse injury. This could be worn during sports activities to make sure you're not sidelined during the season because of an injury or in a workplace environment to make sure you don't overexert yourself on the job. Assistive technologies like exoskeletons can also help keep us injury free and also give us superhero capabilities. This exoskeleton offloads some of the forces your back muscles experience when lifting or leaning, making repetitive lifting of heavy objects easier while also putting less wear and tear on your body. And these biomechanics insights can also help us create scientifically informed sports gear. This is an example of a new technology by Adidas that leverages biomechanics and machine learning to develop a custom 3D woven shoe that maximizes a person's performance capabilities while also minimizing the risk of injury. Biomechanics insights can also inform the design of rackets or baseball bats with the aim of reducing the risk of shoulder overuse injuries. 
And biomechanics also informs the design of helmets, such as football helmets, that reduce the risk of head and brain injury from repeated impacts. So if we go back to our original question, I think the answer is yes, we can prevent overuse injuries from happening before they occur. Biomechanics and engineering is so exciting because we get to both be a scientist, researching the nuances of how the human body moves, and an inventor, creating new and futuristic technology that transforms our ability to move while also keeping us injury-free. <laughs>